everybody, welcome back to Sobic Steers. And today, set it's a small set. Sixteen dollars I picked this guy up. Twenty dollars at retail. Sixteen dollars at Walmart today. This is set six oh one five zero. It's ages five to twelve. It's the pizza van. Yeah, it's a pretty exciting set. It has two hundred and forty nine pieces, and it's significantly bigger than my little studio. As you can see, kind of part of the front box, yeah. Let me get it out of the light box and I'll show you guys it. It's out of that little light box where I film my current videos and where I used to film my old videos now. Let's take a look at it. Here's the box. Front, pretty nice, decent set. Trying to get a better light. If there's the back, front, back, Top, bottom, you know, standard set stuff. But I do want to get in it, and I'm forgetting which side I generally open the sets on. Um, so I do want to open the set. I'm going to open it with a knife today. Sorry about that. I just want to get the camera down a little lower. And up with the standard minifig unboxing knife. Ah, uh, right there. Cut in deep through. Let's dump this box out. Now, I think this set uh, came out back in 2017. December or Jan January of 2017. Let's see. Full box. And now it retails for $16 at uh, my Walmart. At Walmart. And I think it's also $16 at Target, too. This, one of my instruction manuals in this set got completely destroyed. That's a bummer. But two instruction manuals for such a small, dinky set. It's uh, a little, a little surprising for a twenty dollars set to get two instruction manuals. I don't really think of this as a two instruction manual set. So yeah. I'm gonna go build this up, hang it up, and then we can take a look at it. We are back in my studio. It feels good. I got the entire pizza van built up now. It feels great. Now let's take a look at the van before we take a look at anything else in the set. So quickly highlighting the features of the van. You can open both sides of the windows to expose a really nice interior. <laughs> So you got some glass there, you can see you got the pizza inside, you got ketchup and mustard, french fries, spinning it around to the other side of the set. We got a glass, we got the french fries again, you got a cash register, got a pizza oven and some stuff there, and the glass is continued. Closing it up, you can see it says City Pizza, it has the hours there, you got the menu, $3 for a slice of pizza and $2 for a salad, cheap salad there. In the front it says City Pizza. We've got the hours over here, as I previously said, so you can see what when he opens and when he's closed. So Monday, Friday, and stuff like that. And then you can open this up. Now I don't feel like the cab's built up as nicely as it could be. You can see that it feels very empty. Maybe a little about that. My camera just got cut out. As I was saying, it just feels a little empty. Maybe you could have used a chair. I don't know, but I do really like it. It's nice. The front. I like the back. I really like the maroon accents. Feels like a nice set there. You get this nice table, one slice, so that's pretty decent. Got the moped right here, so that's a sticker for the pizza. We've seen this moped before, nothing, nothing special. Also got a helmet. Here is the chef figure, looking fancy right there. Love the torso. It's symbolizing that he's maybe a little overweight with that. Has a little stomach. I don't really tell. Maybe that's wrinkles in the shirt. Nice back wrinkle. There's a little bit of the scarf showing from the front. Got this girl on the set too. Really like her right there. Nice face. Great torso print. Great back print. No secondary face for any of the figures in this set. I really love the City Pizza van. 
but there are some goods and bads of it, which we need to discuss right now. So there's a lot of stickers in this set for such a small set. I feel like they could have used a little more printing in using some existing prints they have done, but they could have just used a little more printing more than just like some pizza stuff and a few of the small stuff in here. Now, like this could have been printed, I don't know, it, just a small little nitpick. I really do like the maroon accents throughout the whole set. That feels very nice. And I feel like the minifigures could have used secondary faces, and that's not like that hard. It's kind of like a standard these days, but given that the set came back out in January of 2017, who knows if they were truly doing secondary faces back then, like on every single set. So I do think that those are the goods and the bads of the set. There's not much else. I really love this set, and I think it's going to add a great addition to my city. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.